Hello, I'm Martin Croft. And I'm Robin Moore. Welcome to Amp Productions Around the World in Three Minutes. This week, we're visiting Atlanta, the capital of Georgia, and one of the largest cities in the American South. Atlanta is a mostly modern city, having been mostly burned during the Civil War. But what it may lack in historical sites, it makes up for in an exciting big city feel. When you're downtown, one place worth visiting any time of year is the Centennial Olympic Park. Built for the 1996 Summer Olympics, the park served a mostly ceremonial purpose, and today is a great spot to take a stroll, look at commemorative plaques and flags, and see the Olympic logo-shaped fountain. There are often popular music concerts and other celebrations held at the park still today. Nearby the park is the Skyview Ferris Wheel, a 21-story attraction with 42 climate-controlled gondolas. Buy tickets in advance, or if you really want to take a look out over the city from above, make a reservation at the Sundial Restaurant. Featuring classic Southern cuisine with a modern twist, this rotating restaurant is at the top of the Weston Peachtree Plaza Hotel. This is the fourth tallest hotel in the Western Hemisphere and the 23rd tallest building in the world, 73 stories and 220 meters. It certainly offers you a good view of the entire downtown area. A popular place for tourists to visit is the CNN Center, the headquarters of CNN since the 1990s. You can eat at the food court, tour the studios, or buy CNN merchandise. The Coca-Cola Museum, another major attraction, is just down the road. Georgia's Capitol building was constructed in Atlanta in 1889 after the Capitol was moved to the city from Milledgeville. It was very modern for the late 19th century, but today maintains a classic feel. If you're interested in history, a good place to stop would be the Oakland Cemetery, just outside of downtown. The cemetery was founded in the 1850s and is an excellent example of a Victorian-styled cemetery. You can take a walk along the paths and even see downtown from the hill. And that's been Around the World in 3 Minutes. Thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in next week as we visit another city.